Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmaier. I want to show you how to put widgets on certain pages and posts and even categories. I'm going to use the uh, plugin called Widget Logic. As you can see, all these show up on every page and every post. And sometimes you just want certain ones to show up on certain pages, like advertisements, recipes, or whatever. It's actually excellent for recipes because if you have a different recipe on each on a different page or a different post, you can show how you do it here and list the recipe like a you know an order right here. It looks very professional and clean. So the first thing you do is you go to plugins and type in add new. And you type in widget logic. I already copied it, so make it easy. Okay, here it is, widget logic install now. Well, before I install it, I want to show you something. Okay, here on the uh, widgets, when you see how you just have archives and everything, but there's nothing here, this is what happens when you install Widget Logic. Okay, we're going to install it. I'm going to activate the plugin. Okay, now what you want to do is when you go back to Appearance and Widgets, as you see, under every one of these it adds a widget logic marker and what you do is you put in a code to only have it on certain pages and what it's good for is I created some posts right here and I created some categories just to give you an idea of how you can put different advertisements on different categories and different pages it's up to you like uh, under computers you can put an advertisement for anything about computers but underneath this post where it says motherboards you just put a post about motherboards, but I said motherboards by AMD. I don't even know if AMD makes motherboards. I know they make processors, but I just quickly thought of something so I can show you how to use widget logic. Okay, enough babble. Let's go right into it. Let's go back to widgets. And what I'm going to do to make it easy is I'm going to just create a text widget, which I already did, and I just call it bicycle ad. And now I'm going to put here, this is an advertisement for bicycles. Some people spell advertisement with a Z, some with an S. They're technically both correct. Okay, what I'm going to do is delete all these because I don't I want you to see what was here. I'm going to hit save. Okay, now this is how you get it to work. I have a page here already open. And I, here's a list of widget logic tags you can use. You can use this one or this one for multiple posts. Always use this single for posts. And use is front page if you only want it to appear on the front page. Don't use is underscore home with these two quotes. For some reason, it works sometimes when you have a page set as the home page. But if you wanted to, but this will work on all front pages. So what we do is um, I'm going to pick a, a category and, and just use the array one. As you can see here, this would also look like this if it was blank. Let me show you this real quick. Okay, if this was blank, you would just see it like this. This is the default is category. Oh, well, sorry, um, I, I forgot the array. Okay, so I'm going to go space, array, and then the semicolon facing out. This is how it would look blank right here. See, I have array, then has two, then has two. This is exactly what it looks like. There's no space between the Y and the opening bracket. But anyway, that was just to give you an idea how these will look in our default setting. So you plug it right in here. Everything goes in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a certain category. So I'm going to copy the is category. We're going to do the motherboards one. See I have, oh no, we're going to do the bicycle ad one. Okay, well I'm going to put on the bicycle ad so it doesn't matter. So under widget logic I put this. And now since it's going to be under the bicycle category, we're going to do the category first. Go to your dashboard. Go to where it says posts and categories. I'm just going to do the category now. Now remember I said bicycles highlighted. On the bottom you see tag underscore ID equals one. It might say page. 
and her posts and pages will say page, but it doesn't matter. Just get the number. So it says ID equals one, so the number is one. So we come over here, we erase everything else that's in here. And I'll tell you when to use a single quote. You see, you only use the single quotes when you use either a title or a slug, but not a number. So I'm going to put one. I want to put a space on both sides just to make it look cleaner. Okay, I saved it. Now, when we go back to the front page, you see that it doesn't say anything here, but watch what happens when I go to the uh, category bicycles. There it is. This is an advertisement for bicycles. I just did that to make it look clean. Okay, now, let's say you want to add it on a page. Okay, what you have to do is you got to go to the right, hit space, and just above the enter key, you hit shift, and then hit that straight up and down line, and then space. And now we're going to go and put it on a single post. So I'm going to go is single with the array. Copy this one. Go back over here, paste it in. Now I'm going to come back over here and I want to see what the uh, post title is. I mean the category, what the category number is. So you go to categories. I mean not categories, uh, posts. Okay, now see these are the titles. But I'm going to put it under critical cycles. I'm going to just highlight it and underneath it says post equals 12. So that means I have number 12. So I go back over here, erase all these, because I only want it to appear on post 12. So I hit save. See, a lot of people who do the widget logic help forget to point this out on how you want to do more than one thing. You got to use that little thing right there. Okay, now we'll go back to the uh, front page. And now remember I put it on uh, critical cycle post. There it is, it's right here. And now let's recheck the category. Yes, it's on that category also. Oh, how do I know it's not on all categories that maybe you're making a mistake? Okay, well, we'll go to cell phones. See, not there. We'll go to motherboards by AMD. Not there. Okay, now this is what I'm going to help you. This is the last bit of help. Oh, yeah, also uh, with a single page, you got to use the is page. Let me do that first. I hate it when I jump around like that, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, copy this one. Go back here. First, I want to find out what the page number is. So I'm going to go back inside, go to pages, all pages, highlight it, and guess what? It is post equals two. They both say post equal, but you still got to use is single for the uh, post and is page for the pages. It's just the way it is. That's the way WordPress works. So I put a space, again shift, put these two things, not three, and then paste it, and it will say number two if I remember right. Okay, two. I'm going to add a little space here. And is there a space on the front side? Yes, there is. Okay, now it'll be under this page also. See, here it is, right here. Okay, now just for uh, just so you can see what's going on, when I put under here under posts, so I have motherboards by AMD, but the slug is only motherboards. When you hit edit, whatever goes inside this box is the actual slug. So now watch. I'm going to show you how you can do it either way, by title or by slug. Okay, this is a post. I want to do it by title. Back to widgets. Okay, I'm going to drop it down. Now here it is, is single, right? Remember that's for posts. So I'm going to put comma, space, I'm going to put a single quote. Not the double, the single. Okay, then the single quote at the end. Just to show you what happens if I put the double or let's let me put the double on both sides and the same thing would happen if I put it on the single side who knows it might work okay let me refresh this and where did I put it mothers uh, computers by mothers by MD okay it also works so what, what this tells me is that Inside here, you can use a single or the double. You cannot mix and match. As you can see, if I use a single and a double, 
I'll recycle this page. As you see, I get all these errors. So I want to go on this side, delete that, and put a single back. Remember that both the doubles worked? And as you can see clearly here, both the singles work too. Okay, now this is my last part. Okay, now remember how the motherboard slug is just single? You can also use the slug. So I'm going to erase the title and put in the slug. Remember how this is multiple words? And this is a single word? But watch. It does not matter. It still works. I'll reload it. And you can see it's still there. I'll go to a Dell just to show you it, it, it's not there. And then we go back to Mothers by MD. It's there again. So again, you can use the page title, the page slug, or the page or post or category number. Okay, now we have it also member and categories under bicycles. There it is. And when we go to computers, it's not there. This is Patrick Altmeyer. Oh, one more thing. Now, remember what I said about if you have um, posts on, I mean, uh, if you have yours on cooking, like recipes. Just think of this said uh, like shortbread. I don't know what shortbread is, so let's say banana bread. And then you make this whole thing on how you make your banana bread. And then right here in a pretty little list, you can just have the ingredients right here. And then when you go to uh, carrot bread, these would automatically change to just the ingredients on the carrot bread. Very interesting. Okay, I love this uh, plugin. It's quick and it's non intrusive. It's a lot better than this other plugin, plugin I got, which just seemed to have, um, I don't know, a lot of bugs.